All right, hi again, Tom, how are you doing? Good, Paul, how are you, mate? Good, good. Well, we're, we're getting more disciplined and we're keeping this bite-sized, folks. We know that that makes it easier for you to take in the information. My challenge to Tom yes. today is we're going to discuss a, a, a topic um, that I label as um, hip hiking. And it's very important. It's great to speak to Tom again from Big Picture because he will be able to explain as well a little bit about the importance of the hip when we walk, we run, etc. And that there has to be movement there. But this prime engine of the hip needs to be able to generate force and i believe tom it can be really helpful for people to understand how to exit the turn when they know how to hip hike what do you reckon yeah absolutely absolutely i think like one one way you could look at angulation like creating angles in your body for skiing uh is is how you get out of a turn not just help create further edge angles in the turn, but, but get out of the turn. And, and to simply put it, like each of your hip joints could be thought that they're, they're like little leverage points that you can tip weight in your body, you know, uh -huh. to the outside of the turn, to the inside of the turn, that they're, they're points of shifting mass where your body is. And, and the hip joint just happens to be, you know, round, like ideally shaped to help move like a lot of weight. I mean, from above our hips is the majority of the weight of the body. So, so the hip joints are that, are that kind of balance point that helps change where, where our body weight is. So um, what we're sort of talking about is that if you imagine traversing over the hill and you want to traverse across on the edges of your skis, then a lot of people, you know, will think, oh, feet first, rightly so. We really want to have control of those small movements down in the ankle and the subtalar joint. But equally, we can create a little bit of understanding of outside inside ski balance by this hip hiking, I call it. Because um, a lot of the yeah. questions I got asked, a couple of people came back with this. Oh, how much weight do you put on the outside ski in this part of the turn? And how much is on the inside ski? Well, to be fair, I don't necessarily think too much about that at all, really. But what I do think of is where's my eye line and where's my hip line? Where is my ankle line? It's sort of all this axis going down the body. So in these two videos here, Tom, I thought these were ideal to look at what the hip can do when it's badly managed compared with when it's better managed, yeah? So this is a typical... Yeah double pole drag and Tom and I will definitely be discussing things like double pole drags and um, exercises like um, javelin turns you can see again on big picture skiing but this exercise here highlights that both the skiers start relatively similar you could look at these two and say look yeah. similar yeah. but within a very few frames Tom look at this We've yeah. <laughs> seen differences now. What do you see, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, for one, like the guy in the yellow pants is inclining his whole body in, but he's using the hip joints as like these pivot points where he can continue moving the legs in more than the upper body. Now, the guy in the blue jacket doesn't really allow that to happen, and it actually looks more like he's kind of keeping his shins quite vertical and he's just dropping his hips in via his knee joint. So he's actually got a bit of rotation and he's bending his knees and that's how he's got his mass inside the turn. And that's not wrong. That's definitely one way of getting your mass inside the turn. But unfortunately, you can see what's, what's happened. Like the angle of the shins is a lot less than the angle of the whole body, like the hip inclination. So yeah. that line versus if you drew a general line from, yeah, his center of mass, like down to the skis, it's, um, it, it's, 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 yeah, it's sort of that, that line would be steeper. 
Yeah, and the angle of his shins, his shins are more upright, whereas yeah. the guy in the yellow has got everything going in. Yeah. And so you're using this, this hip hike, like that guy in the yellow pants, that inside butt cheek, there you go, has come up, yes. Out of the way. Yeah. And if that comes, yeah, and if that comes up, then he can keep all of the grey of his jacket, the whole weight in his body can, can be tipped over to the outside. And if it's happening now, and the guy in the yellow can now exit this next turn, he can start exiting now. He can start going to the next turn now while still keeping his legs tracking and turning or keeping his tears carving around to the right. If you don't have that hip hike, like our guy in the blue, he's kind of very much more stuck inside, and he's got the he's got the angulation more through twisting and facing the outside of the turn and bending forward at the hips. So so that's that's not a hip hike there. Yeah, and I feel like pants is hip hiking pushes the skis not. flatter. The the skis here, yes. you know, the difference between the two when you look back here. In the difference between the edge angle between these two skiers, it's amazing, you know, when you look at how much yeah. edge angle the guy yeah. in the yellow pants has got compared with the guy in the blue. Even at the early part of the turn, way back here, we talk about having better edge tilt high in the turn, and there's a good example. Yeah, exactly. And even if you like play around with the two positions, if you get your you hip inside, you pretend turn, and then have a lot of counter rotation, you'll feel your outside foot wants to press flat. Yeah. Okay, whereas if you incline and you, you, you manage your angulation through more of a lateral, like a hike, now my foot doesn't want to get pressed flat. I counter a lot, it goes flat. Yeah. And this is this is known in, in as coupled motion, Tom, yeah? where these things are all interlinked and you can't avoid it. Once you do that movement, it's impossible to, to not do what the guy in the blue is doing because it's a coupled yep. motion and therefore he's stuck. So in this very quick bite of information, be aware of what's going on. Have a look again at bigpictureskiing.com because again, you go through exercises detailing this coupled motion. So people get a yeah. feel of it in the turn as well, Tom, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Just you'll just find stuff on a bit more biomechanics and anatomy of the body, and I've tried to you know in lot, it's, you've got more time to talk about it, but talk about how yeah, like, like in that one spinal mobility one for and aft, and there's um, there's one a lateral spinal mobility, but but I'm trying to just educate people on what I've learned in how the body moves and, and works, and, and I think a lot of people just end up realizing after they've learned that stuff that oh wow you can. You can angulate laterally from the hip, and I've been doing it through counter rotating and flexing forward. And you know, it's not wrong. It's just one of the ways that you. Because at the end of the day, it's just it's just moving your weight around. Are you getting your weight this way by bending sideways? Are you turning and folding this way? Are you you know putting? It's just moving weight around. That all it that's all it is. So if you know your anatomy, you can know where you're yeah. doing it from. And I think that gives you then that coach's eye to be able to see the difference between cause and effect, Tom, on your website, yeah? Yeah, exactly. If you don't know what you're looking at, you don't know what you're looking at, you know, you can... You're you going to pull out the handbook of ski instructor drills. That's the trouble. If you don't know what you're looking at, you will go down the road of, of doing these drills for the sake of doing the drill. And that's not about ski instructing at all. Good one, Tom. Well, again, that was a short little bite, um, a little bit of attention, more details, Big skiing, uh, big picture skiing.com. We'll see you again. Bye for now.